in those days, nickels had pictures of bumblebees on them. Hey everyone, this is Adam with the Drum Center of Portsmouth, the largest independently owned drum store in the world. All of the drums and cymbals that you see in today's video are available for purchase, and I will put the links to purchase them in the description below. Today's video is a fun one. We are featuring two drum sets from two recently revived drum companies of old, Rogers and George Way. Both of these companies had long storied traditions and great drums back in their day, had fallen off and have been revived in the modern day. And today we are going to put some of their recent products up to the test. In those drum sets are the George Way Tuxedo Studio Kit. This one is in a very nice caddy green gloss finish. And the Rogers Tower Limited Edition in Satin Black Gold Duco. Both of these kits have the vintage style maple poplar shells with reinforcement rings. Which was the style at the time. Both of them feature period correct lighter duty hardware with some improvements. And they both have centered lugs. But that's about where the similarities end. So let's get into these kits, how they sound, and what makes them different from each other. First up is this handsome fella. It's the George Way Tuxedo Studio Kit. Sizes on this kit are pretty fun. We have a 13 by nine, we have a 16 by 16 floor tom, and we have a 22 by 14 bass drum, and a lovely matching 14 by seven snare drum. First thing you're gonna notice is this amazing caddy green gloss finish. The drums have a unique four ply maple poplar shell with two ply reinforcement rings and 30 degree bearing edges. It has the classic style streamlined lugs, double edged triple flanged hoops, way best arch bass drum spurs. The heads on this kit are interesting. The resonant heads are made by Danette. They are the Rezo Clears. And on the batter side, they are blank. I don't know what they are. They sound good. And I imagine you can just like take a Sharpie and write whatever brand name you want on these heads. And there you go. Before we get into the playing, let me remind you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's a great way to stay informed on all things drums and a good way to support our independently owned drum shop. Symbols that we're using with this kit are newish from Zildjian. They are the S Dark series. These are a less expensive model. They have a very dark, pronounced sound. They're a bit heavy, but somewhat controlled. It's a nice contrast with these vintage kits. It's kind of a cool, funky sound.
Next up is the Rogers Tower, limited edition in satin black gold duco. The Tower series is a throwback to the look of the 1960s. They have the proprietary five ply maple poplar shells with reinforcement rings. And 45 degree reverse round over bearing edges. And I like the look of the interiors as they went to the trouble of staining the inside. These drums have the classic beaver tail center lug design and the hoops are 2.3 triple flanged. And they have more modern retractable bass drum spurs. What really makes this Rogers kit interesting is the sizes. You have a 12 by 8 rack tom, you have a 16 by 16 floor tom, but the bass drum is 22 by 10. This is my first time seeing a 22 by 10. It's a lot of fun to play, packs a lot of thump. It's really cool. I like it. The matching snare drum that we are using with this kit is an absolute banger. Uh, it doesn't look like much. It's a 14 by 5, but it sounds incredible. The heads are the less expensive Remo UT brand. You know how we feel about those. Yeet! Throw it in the nearest trash can. But the snare drum has a Remo USA coated ambassador. Both of these drum sets are professional level and the price reflects that. They're both around the $2,000 range. Uh, the George Way is a little bit less, but for the money you're spending, these drums do sound very, very good. And I imagine that they would sound even better when you put better heads on them.
We'd like to know what you thought of these drum sets. Which one did you like the best? Do you feel like they are a value for their price? Uh, let us know in the comments section below. We love to read them and we love to hear your feedback. Again, if you'd like to purchase any of the drums or cymbals in this video, I'm gonna put the links in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already. Like, I'm tired of asking. Like, I... it's embarrassing. And as always, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We really do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time.